Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection B, U, W12. Type, Number of Joints, Basic. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. Type number of joint. So now, see, we have different types of weld and the type of weld will decide if you are doing full radiography, then what efficiency I'll get. Okay. In the start, when we are, we have started learning, we think that if I have full radiography, my joint efficiency will be one. No, that is not the case. Full radiography will not give you joint efficiency as one always. It depends upon which type of well you are having. Okay. So don't always consider that joint efficiency one. That means full radiography is applicable or otherwise like full radiography is applicable. That means joint efficiency one I should take. Okay. Now as a designer, if we are designing and then the drawings and fabrication will happen, then we have to be very careful. If I'm taking joint efficiency as one, I need to make and ensure that the drawing is having type number one correctly. Okay. The joint correctly mentioned as per code so that I can get full radiography. If we are doing, I'll get the joint efficiency as one. Making sense? So the first statement, full radiography does not mean that you will get joint efficiency as one always. Okay. It depends upon type of joint. So if I want to have for full radiography joint efficiency as one, okay, joint efficiency as one means the weld material is as good as base material. Okay. And any lack of fusion you know, any um, penetration problem, root fusion, all we are taking care by full radiography. So now what type of weld I can have? If I want to have a joint efficiency as one, this is the first type. I need to weld from both the sides. Both the side means if there is a butt joint, okay, I need to create butt joint, right? I cannot have a corner or lab joint. I need to have a butt weld joint. I'll have to ensure full penetration. That is the utmost requirement. Now, how to achieve full penetration? This is one main. We can have a double V, both side welding. How it benefits us to achieve full penetration? We weld it from one side. Okay. And then we chip back, we grind from the other side. We do the grinding to remove the unpenetrated or lack of fusion. We do PT to ensure that all the lack of penetration area has been removed. And then we weld again from the other side, ensuring your root is completely fused. Okay. So this is the first type, the first figure, which you see, that is the most important join and we, sh we should have this kind of configuration if it is possible if you can see many times it may happen that your other side is not accessible if both the sides are accessible we'll have the join type as the first figure uh figure one is clear to everyone okay so if i want to achieve joint efficiency one and there's full radiography, I'll, I'll select the first figure. Now, if my vessel is very small, you know, and it's very difficult or it's a closing joint and I don't have a man way opening to access inside, or it's very difficult to access inside and do the grinding. Then what we can have, we can provide a temporary backing strip. So temporary backing strip provides a base for fusing the root. Okay. So by providing a backing strip, which is a temporary, temporary means after that welding is complete, we'll remove it. We'll have to remove it. Okay. That is the reason it's called temporary backing strip. 
So by using this backing strip also, you can ensure the complete fusion of the root. So this will also ensure the full penetration. So target is to achieve full penetration. Okay, that is the requirement. If I have a full penetration, then I can consider it as a as good as base metal. Second figure is clear. Okay. Now coming to the third. See the third one is little bit trickier. There is no temporary backing strip. The welding is also from one side. Then how you will ensure that blue area which is shown, the blue portion, that root is completely fused. Okay, that is a expertise which fabricator should have. Okay, and it has to be demonstrated by using a mock-up welding they have to be demonstrated they have to be tested so what they do they fuse the root with tig by using tig will first try to fuse the root and then will do the welding by using this technique you can achieve full penetration but that will not guarantee you have to demonstrate okay because that is complete capability of the fabricator okay so you have to do mock-ups you have to train your welders so once the mock-up is qualified, it will be tested that whether the roots, is, roots are completely fused or not. And then you can you know, apply this and you can say that I have achieved full penetration. Making sense? Okay, great, great. So type number one is pretty clear, right? So this is the weld normally you should have if you are mentioning the joint efficiency as one. One of the three you have to consider. Okay. Now, what if I don't have access to the other side and even it's a closing joint, I cannot access the joint once I weld it. Even if I provide backing strip, I will not have access to remove that backing strip. That may happen, right? The access is completely lost after we weld to the other side. In that case, there will be backing strip which will remain in place. Okay, we have to use because that will ensure the fusion of the root. But we cannot remove that backing strip. Okay, so this type of joint where we are welding from one side and using a backing strip which will remain in place, that type of weld is called type number two. Okay, so if I have a type number two, I will not be able to get a joint efficiency as one. So this will become type number two and it will not give you a, even if I do full radiography, I will not get joint efficiency as one. I'll get only 0.9. Okay. We'll see that it is given in UW table. Making sense guys. Now type number three. Okay. In type number three, we are welding from one side because there is no access and there is no access even to place a backing strip. That can be the third case. Okay. When access is completely not there, not even to provide a backing strip. That type of joint welded from one side will come into type number three. Okay. If I'm having a type number three joint, guys, please tell me whether even if I do full radiography for type 3 joint, whether it will give me any advantage in terms of joint efficiency? No, not at all. It is as good as doing no radiography. Even if I do 100% radiography, still joint efficiency will be as good as no radiography because this kind of, well, if you, if you cannot ensure uh, full penetration, you cannot have joint efficiency advantage. You will be given joint efficiency as no weld. Okay. So definitely less than one. And what exactly will you'll be giving that you have to see the table. So I hope you understood that type number three, if you am not able to ensure the complete penetration, then even by doing full radiography or spot radiography, 
it will not make any difference it is as good as doing no radiography okay so joint efficiency will be as if i am not doing any radiography okay i cannot take advantage of radiography hope that is making sense there can be other types of wells so type 1 type 2 type 3 then there are 4 5 6 7 8 eight types are there okay so those are mainly lap jointed or corner joint all those wells will not have any advantage in terms of radiography okay so does not matter if i'm doing radiography or not these kind of wells will not have any advantage okay so these are the other types of wells 